it's Tony Kress here. I'm going to take you through a mm, 10 to 15 minute uh, TRX leg workout that really is going to get you shaking. You may think it's not enough, but once you go through it, you're going to realize it is plenty. So we're going to start off TRX fully shortened. We're going to start off nice and easy into a little Cossack stretch. So we're going to get that groin all fired up. Pull the toes off of that long leg. Come back up. We can come back up or we can come around and kind of just grease the groove here. We'll do about eight aside. Just get nice and limber, you know, like the gymnasts from the 70s used to do. I'm kidding. I, I have no idea if they used to do that. But limber, I feel like limber is a word they used in the 70s, uh, maybe even the 80s. All right, so we're gonna go next exercise, squat and row. Again, very simple. We're gonna start with the end in mind. Up top, hands into the chest. We're gonna come down. We're gonna use the legs to drive up. Mid back to pull the straps right back into that chest. Let's just kind of get maybe like four Four more from now, four, maybe eyes up at the anchor point, three, two, uno. All right, next, we're gonna go into a single leg hip hinge. I'm just gonna change angles, just cause I can. All right, single leg hip hinge, start with the straps uh, taut, so tension into the straps. From here, pick a leg, it doesn't matter which other leg, is going to get up in the air. We're just going to press down into the straps, extend, and then come back up, reset. All right, so pushing down into the straps is going to get your abs to turn on. It's going to give you a little bit of tension in the arms as well. Maybe we're going to get three more here. And we gotta switch sides, right? We gotta switch sides. All right, so boom, 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 boom. And then we push away, push away. All right, you can be a little meticulous if you'd like. And maybe instead of letting that foot hang wherever it goes, maybe I'm gonna draw my toes up towards my shin so I get a little bit of dorsiflexion in that ankle. Four more here. You want to get more abs? Push harder into the handles. I think that is two. Let's call this three. Maybe you're paying attention to how your foot is pressing into the floor, right? Maybe it's your your big toes trying to push in too much. Maybe it's your heel. All right, just pay attention to this kind of stuff. All right, the more aware you are, the more you're gonna understand what's going right and what's going wrong with the rest of the leg. Next one, figure four. Very, very simple. You're gonna start hands into the chest, cross your right leg over your left, just like this. All right, so you're gonna stand there. All right, I'm not leaning back on this right now. I'm just gonna stand here. If I let go of this, nothing would happen. Now, from here, I'm gonna sit onto one leg, push this other leg down as I sit. Really gonna stretch out that glute right there. So a lot of people with issues like piriformis syndrome or sciatica, this might be something under your parameters that might help alleviate some of those pain indicators. Let's go three more. Three. Two. Day. Junior. One. Switch sides. Next one. Left over right. Same thing. 
Let's try for seven. Two. I don't know why seven, right? Because we fall in love with reps. Oh, you got to do 10 reps. Oh, you got to do eight to 12 for hypertrophy. Oh, you got to do five to eight for strength, right? But in reality, with those rep ranges, we're kind of forgetting about time under tension, right? So you want to stress that muscle for, I don't know, 45 seconds to a minute. All right, so is that five to eight reps doing that? Is that eight to 12 doing that? Um, if I fall and get back up, am I doing a great movement if I get eight to 10 of those? Or if I go boom, boom, eight to 10 of those, those are very different things. All right, so last one, lunge and open. So this one, hands out in front of the chest, right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but left leg is gonna lunge, right arm is gonna punch up and over. So it'll look like this. We're just gonna do maybe five a side, just so we can kind of feel a little bit of increase in tissue temperature. We're gonna feel the body getting a little bit more ready for movement. I would rather you be a little bit more on the aware side of being meticulous than really counting repetitions here. I think I've definitely done more than five, but I want to pay attention to doing them well. All right, that's enough of this. So I'm gonna to explain to you how this is gonna go. All right, we have three exercises and they're gonna be relatively basic. We'll do, today we'll just do like five reps of each, right in a row. And then we're gonna amp up those same three exercises to give you a higher progression of those exercises. Now, what you can do, if you think this is not enough for you, you can add another round of those higher progressions. But today what we're gonna do is go through those three exercises, one round of the higher progression, and then move on. So again, I told you as quick as 10 minutes, it should be somewhere around there. Um, all right, we're sitting at six-ish or so. Um, but that's not counting the, the work part. Um, so here's how it goes. First three exercises are fully shortened, just like this. You don't have to change a thing. I'm gonna go through them. We're gonna do a set of five of each, and then we're gonna amp those exercises up. All right, so first exercise is a reverse lunge. Very, very simple, right? So I'm here, feet together, hands at the chest. You can see me, I hope. We're just getting into our reverse. I think I just did the same leg twice. Our reverse lunge. So let's do five from now, five. And when I say five, you gotta do both sides. Four, four, three, and again, don't fall to the ground to lower yourself in that front leg and that hamstring and that glute. We're gonna work on speed here in a second. One, I don't know if that's five. All right, we're gonna work on speed in a second, but you gotta earn the right to do things fast. If you can't do them slow, maybe finding the fast way to do it isn't in your wheelhouse yet, and that's okay, right? Next one, lateral lunge, very easy again. So. Here, hands into the chest, feet together. Now we're just gonna step side to side. So, boom. Sit back into that hip. Use the straps as much as you need to. Today is very, very simple, all right? But that does not mean easy, all right? Right now, our heart rate is probably a little higher than normal. If it's not, you might want to schedule a doctor's appointment or a cardiologist appointment. Um, but it's going to get higher here in a second. So if it isn't now, 
don't fret because I will help you through this. Boom. Let's call this one five. All right. Because I'm not good with those numbers. Next one. So here's the third one out of the three today. All right. So pistol squat. Some of you guys may not be able to do this. That's okay. Here's the solution. All right. If we know what a pistol squat is, this leg is going to stay put. You're going to sit down on that other leg. I want you to make sure you can do the regress version of this. So we're on this right leg, right? Left leg is out just on your heel. You're not trying to push into the left leg unless you need it, right? You're not trying to hold on to the straps unless you need them, all right? You're going to sit, sit, sit. We're going to try to drive off the right leg to come back up, all right? So here, here, all right? Now, if you can, you're going to keep that foot off the ground. Try to drive through that right leg. And let's get two more. Sha, One more. Pull the straps as much as you need to, but as little as possible. Now we're going to go to the left side. All right, here we go. So here, again, right heel on the ground. I use that leg when I need it. I don't use it when I don't. Two more, and bow, and we call this five. So those are the first three. All right, now we have to amp them up. All right, so that reverse lunge, we're gonna turn into a lunge jump. That lateral lunge, we're gonna turn into a shuffle. And then that pistol squat, we're gonna turn it into a pistol squat, but it's gonna be kind of explosive or hoppy or whatever you wanna call it. So here we go. This is what the reverse lunge looks like in an explosive movement. So I'm reverse lunging, but I'm switching, all right? So that's what that looks like. You're gonna switch back and back and back and back. Don't pull into the straps. You're gonna find yourself falling forward and that lunge is gonna fall apart. So the idea is here, we're gonna do five each side. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, good. Next one is a lateral shuffle. So same thing, I'm just moving that quicker. So it'll look like this, boom, 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 boom. Let's do three more now. Three, two, one, so. Last one, pistol squat, exchange or switch. Same thing for switching every time. So I'm gonna go here, boom. So I land, next, all right? Five aside, here we go. Two, two. This is gonna be hard to get away from the straps on this one. I think that's three, might be four, who knows. Four. Let's call that five. <sighs> All right, so there is one round. We have four more exercises. And these ones are gonna be with the straps mid-calf. So if you don't know how to adjust your straps, Perpendicular to the strap, pull that uh, metal clasp. Same thing, we'll take those things down. Maybe the handles at our kneecaps, depending on how big that foot cradle loop is for you. All right, so we're gonna get going because we're gonna keep this up. First one is a suspended lunge. All right, so we're gonna go challenging from the get-go. Easiest way. Strap is right underneath anchor point. Hold the handles with your right hand underneath anchor point. Take your left leg, stick it behind you, and stick it through the foot cradles. For me, I have enough balance where I can do this. And now, I'm not gonna press into the straps. I'm gonna use my front leg to lower myself. All right, so I'm here, 
and up. Boom. So I've got, let's call it four more from now. All right, there's uno. I'm multilingual, two no. Three no. Four. All right, to switch sides, I'm not gonna pull that leg out. I'm gonna put my hands down so I have some stability and then push that leg out. I switch sides, handles in my left hand, right foot is gonna go behind my left leg, stick that foot in the foot cradles, same thing on this side, five of them. Really try to focus on this front glute bringing you up, lowering you down. All right, I think that's five. Hands down, shake that out. Once you're safe and secure outside of it, move on. Next one, squat. This one's simple, simple, simple. All right, up top, hands and chest, feet about shoulder width apart. Use this to guide you into a perfect squat. Boom. Straight up, pay attention to where you're putting the pressure on your feet. All right, evenly spread out. We don't wanna be on the toes, we don't wanna be on the heels. We want those knees to stay pretty much on top of the ankles, maybe slightly outside. Maybe we got two more in us. One. Two. Now I said we have four exercises here. So the next two are on the ground. Let me open these up just a little bit. Just a little bit. 50 cent, just a little bit. All right, so I want my feet to be able to fit through these without slipping through, but I also want my heels to be able to go in because that's our second exercise. So. Here we go. From here, we're gonna go toes in, which means I grab the foot cradles just like this, so the bottom of the straps. I pull those up towards me. I'm gonna stick my feet straight up through those foot cradles, but I'm not gonna push them down. I'm gonna stay just like this. Now, I'm gonna stay like that, I'm gonna turn my feet, I'm gonna follow my feet with the rest of my body. And now I'm in the position I wanna be in. So leg extension is first. So this is your starting position, all right? Now, from here, I am going to kick my feet down to push my butt up in the air, all right? Now, if you don't understand that, I'm gonna look like, I'm just gonna show it to you, all right? So I get my knees up, I'm gonna kick my feet down to push my butt up, and then I come back. Some of you guys may not be ready for this and that's okay. You can do the exact same thing on the ground. So it'll look like this, boom, don't, don't. And that's what it'll look like outside the straps. So as we do this next five, figure out where yours are and then we're gonna go. All right, hands underneath the shoulders, about shoulder width apart, knees underneath the hips, toes pointed towards you. And we go five, four, feet, try not to go backwards, three, two, one. So there's leg extensions. Here is hamstring curl. So that's why these loops are big enough because I am going to put my heels in the loops just like this. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna stay up just like this. This is a more challenging version. You could go down here like this, but my hat's gonna bother me that way. So I'm just gonna start like this. All we're gonna do is lift the butt off the ground and pull our, hand, our knees back towards us. So it's gonna look like this. Boom, boom. If that's too much, you can still do that by pressing into the straps with your heels, keeping your butt on the ground doing the same exact exercise. We're gonna do five. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, 
So those are the four new exercises, All right? But we've got to amp these up too, right? So we're going to jump on the first two and we're going to do single leg versions of the second two. So, sorry, my undies is riding. Um, here again, right hand, left foot behind, tuck, tuck, just like that. So now I'm going to get in that same position, but I'm going to try to get my foot off the ground. If you don't have great balance, don't do this. Right, if you don't have great balance, work on maybe it's a tiptoe at the end instead of getting your foot off the ground. Maybe it's the first version again. All right, so now I load, explode. Three, four, let's do one more. And then hands down, take that foot out. We're gonna put the other foot in. You put your right foot in. I don't remember. Oh, it's this way. So we'll do six because we did something like that last time. So I load, I try to get through. Maybe one more. And down, and back. Next one, squat, jump. Same exact idea here, but we get our feet off the ground. One more, for fun. Okay, cool. Next two are single leg. So, instead of both feet, I take both straps and I pick a foot, stick that foot in. I turn around and shake it all about. Do the hokey pokey. This other leg is just gonna float, right? I'm not trying to glue it onto the leg that's suspended because essentially I'm going to drop from that quad and I don't want to do that during this one. All right, so we got five here, same exact situation here. See this leg? It's not related. One, two, three, four, one more for one more after that, five, I guess that was six. But that's the life we live, man. That's the life we live. All right, we go through here. We turn it around. We're gonna make sure that right leg is doing nothing. All right, knees under the hips. Right leg is gonna be a floater. One, two, Three, four, five, six, four, fun. Same thing here. One heel, both straps, two girls, one cup, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right. So this one's going to be a little uh, more challenging. One, because your hamstrings are probably not as strong. Two, because this strap is gonna to wanna to come off your heel. So just pay attention to that. If you're still unsure, do two. All right, so do both in the straps because this is like way up leveling this. All right, so just like this, this guy's gonna float. I'm gonna float here. One, I'm trying to keep this, this leg staying put. Two, we're gonna do six again. Three, four, five, six. It is important to keep your foot like this and not like that because that your calf is going to cramp like nobody's business and you're going to be mad at me. Like, dude, I can't do that. My foot, my, my calf is cramping. Yes, because you didn't do that. All right, so do that. More than likely, it's going to be harder, but you're going to avoid that calf cramp. But I would slide into this one with an extreme amount of caution. We got one, le one leg left, all right? This is my, my beauty leg. All right, so here we go. Lift it, one, two, 
three, four, five, six. Woo! That's the workout. Now, one of the stretches that are awesome. So you could do another round of that if you wanted. You could do, you could slow it down and do one more round of the simple versions of them, the simplified versions, and then another round of the progressed versions or two more rounds of the progressed versions. I don't know. I don't know how fit you are. I don't know how strong you are. I don't know how much muscular endurance you have, but that's up to you. So when you're done, put both heels in just like that. All right. And then you're just going to reach, All right? Stay tall, pull those toes back to you. And you've got a nice little hamstring slash calf stretch. You don't really have to do this wavy thing that I'm doing. I just like it because it feels good. All right. Boom, 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 boom. If I flex my quads, it's going to stretch those hamstrings just a little bit more. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I know I kept saying 10-minute workout. I know it's way longer than that. I just, you know, I thought, I thought maybe if I said 10 minutes, you guys would like me more or something. Um, I know, I was just joking. Um, next one, one of my favorites. Stick one foot in both straps. Make sure you're holding on to the strap on this one. Because if you aren't, you're going to fly all over the place. It's going to be an accident. And I don't know who to call because Ghostbusters won't handle that one. All right, and you just kind of hang out here. Take a couple deep breaths through that. Da -da 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 -da. And let's come on out of that guy. And all we're gonna do is switch legs. Right. Right, really open up that back hip. The hamstring here is awesome too. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and bring it back. All right, so you can use this to hang on to if you don't have that much stability or balance, but I'm gonna use this for one side, grab my ankle of the same side leg, bring it back. Try not to let my knee go out to the side like this. Try to keep it underneath here, because that'll really get into the quad a little bit more than if you kind of just turn that thing out. It's very slight, but it's very different. And then we switch. Boom, 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 boom. And great there. Shorten the straps. Clasp perpendicular to the strap. Grab the yellow tab all the way up. Keep that clasp perpendicular, yellow tab. Make sure these straps are not twisted. All right, they're flat and flush. Bop, 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 bop. Up. All right, now, figure four to hold. All right, so I'm gonna cross that right over the left just like this, and I'm just gonna hang out. Really, if I lean into this, I should be getting into the glute and that pure foam mass. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, and one, and we're gonna switch sides. Comedy is not my forte. Let's hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we go, 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 go. All right, wide stance, wider than shoulder width, palms down, push the hips back, push the arms forward, just hang out. Maybe you lean to one hip a little bit more, maybe shift your hips to the left. Maybe we shift the hips to the right, but you're still trying to keep your legs straight. All right, because it's going to keep that stretch in 
that inner leg thing, that adductor. Right. Maybe you push your hips back a little bit more, and then you can come out of that. Push your hips forward, back, and forward. And maybe you sit onto one side, push those arms to that side to get a little bit bigger stretch. And then we do it on the other side. And maybe we're done. So that is your 27 slash 10 minute leg workout that uh, you didn't know you wanted. <laughs>